Later down the line, I uh, I uh, shot out uh, Katie. You know, told her to talk to you about coming over to uh, Jr. Schwugel. And um, what was your experience with that? <laughs> my experience there was a complete nightmare. Oh my God, it was a nightmare. So you feel me? Like I could, like I could just, I could tell them what what's up, but I don't know if you want me to just leave it, or you feel me? Nah, nah, nah. Tell, 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 tell my, <laughs> tell my listeners, tell my viewers. What, I mean, because like I said, I always tell the people, I always tell them when I when I refer somebody, you know what I'm saying? When I refer you, that's it's all well and fine. Your experience is gonna be yours. My right. my experience is mine, so definitely tell them what was your experience about coming into, or at least trying to come into uh, J and R Schwugel at the time. All right, so when I came there, um, your recruiter she was super dope. You feel me? HR, everybody was super nice. It was it was a green light. It was a go. So I get there, and um, the first day of orientation. The guy who was in charge of the orientation, he was actually um, the alternate because the main person was out. Right. But um, he just seemed to not be feeling me from the gate. Mm -hmm. And I felt it the whole time we were in class, but I kind of just kept, you know, I kept shaking it off. But he would make these comments about, like, you know, I'm not here to train rookies and I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm the person in the class with the least amount of experience so right. if he's expecting for me to get in his truck and drive like i've been out here 20 years it's not going to happen okay and i was very right i was honest with him about it i was honest with my classmates about it um so we go to take the road test and we are all in a truck together mm -hmm. and the two the two guys they take the road test they blow it out the water it's good shit this so is i'm the last person this is day one right this is this is day two we day go to two. take the road test okay yeah. okay so this day is day two, two. now my yeah, day two now, mind you, let me let everybody know, this is the orientation up in Minnesota, not Columbus. Yes. Now, see, yeah, what, this I, is in Minnesota. What, I, what I thought you was going to go to Columbus. I don't understand why they sent you all the way up to Minnesota because you, you're out of North Carolina, right? Or South right, Carolina. yeah. You, so you're, you're close to Ohio. So I was assuming right. that they was going to send you to Ohio with my, with, with my one guy. Now, if you was... With him, I'm sure the experience would have been would have been better. A little go, bit different. Go ahead and continue. Oh, so we go to take the road test, and I'm the last to go. And I noticed that he wants me to do a completely different road test than the other students, which mm -hmm. was like a red flag. You know, I kind of looked at the guys in the back. They kind of shrugged like, you know, what the hell is going on? So I said, okay, too easy. Take the road test. You know, no no problems, you know what I'm saying, driving, mm -hmm. operating a vehicle. But I see the guy out of my, I see the, the safety man sitting to my right, and he's looking a bit agitated, you feel mm -hmm. me? So mm -hmm. I kind of asked him what's going on. Me and him, we started exchanging words. I told him that I felt that he was rude and he was very unprofessional. Mm -hmm. And from there, that pretty much sealed my fate, you know, feel me, on the road test. Like, I mean, I didn't do anything unsafe. I, You know, I changed my lanes right. You know, everything was A1. We got to... Um, he actually took me to a live dock. Everybody else went to like a little abandoned building. You feel me? But right, he um, took you to that. He like, took you to that dock that's up the street from the from the terminal. Right. Yeah. So we got there. So you know, I waited. You know, what I'm saying until the traffic calmed down before I went ahead and back in the dock. And you know, I did about 85 get out and looks because I was extremely nervous because mm -hmm. I knew that after me and him got into it, it was probably going to be a no. Well, of course, we got back to the class, and they told me that I had failed the road test. And when I asked them which part, because I backed the truck, there was no safety issues. Nobody could seem to tell me exactly why I failed. Right. So, um, you know, I talked to him. I spoke to his counterparts. I spoke to the person that was over him. And they offered to try to get me um, another road test, but... At that point, I was just mentally burnt out. I felt yeah, defeated. I was said, pissed you, off, you said, and I was ready to go. Yeah, you just said it wasn't. It wasn't even worth. Yeah, it. It I, even I worth felt it. extremely targeted. I said they treating people like this. I don't even want to be here anyway. I'm cool. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Like I said, if if you was to if you was to get with my guy Jonathan down in uh, Columbus, I'm sure the experience would have been a hell of a lot different. 
Now the guy, the guy up in Minnesota, I'm, I wasn't, I'm, I'm not too privy of of the uh, the instructors up in Minnesota. I think I met one guy, but I, I'm, I'm not sure the guy that she was with. And she called me back. She called me back, and we had a long, a long er conversation about what what happened up there, <laughs> but. Yeah, that that experience up there, man, was wasn't that good for you. And I apologize to you. I, I really That's okay. Did. It's not and like I told you. It's not on you. I think what people like. Let me tell you, especially to the females coming in this industry. Now, listen, all of y'all are not gonna have this experience. So I know some girls that's gonna say, "What? That didn't happen to me." But for like some of you ladies, I'm telling you, you're gonna go to companies, you're gonna go to shippers, you're gonna go to receivers, and sometimes the people are gonna treat you like you are not supposed to be in this industry. There are just people who look at you and say, you are not supposed to be in this industry. And they cannot tell you that, but what they will do is switch their demeanor up and you're going to feel it. You feel me? 